Like big red flags sure. that you've seen. Yeah. Big red flags would be company wasn't properly formed. You know, they say, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm selling the company and we find out, Hey, there's, there's no entity under that name. And they're like, Oh, well, wait, you know, I, we thought someone filed that. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a sole prac, sole proprietorship. I'm not really a, a, an LLC and it gets really difficult to buy the assets of this person. So what's another big red flag that you look for? Like when you're peeling off the onion. Sure. Um, owners that aren't at the table are another big one or, um, Sometimes they're not even known as owners. They might just even be like equity holders that have veto rights or people who aren't equity holders that have veto rights over a deal. And so that's why we always ask the the person who we are negotiating with, the purported seller, um, how much of the, the company do you own? Who else owns the company? Who else has any rights whatsoever over the sale of the company? Is there anyone that needs to give consent? What's the next red, big red flag that you look for when you start unpeeling that onion? Ownership of assets is another big piece. And so I, I uh, usually run um, UCC searches and use public records to double check them. Uh, UCC is a, a term used to describe the financing statements that give creditors um, basically a security interest over the assets. And so a lot of times these security interests could be very broad. So sometimes even if they, uh, you know, say it's a manufacturing company and they bought a piece of equipment, that creditor, and then they bought it on credit, that creditor might actually have a, a lien on more than just that piece of equipment. They might have a lien on all of their current receivables, or, you know, sometimes they write those very broadly. And if we don't see and address all those, then that could be a serious impediment to closing the deal. So that's three. That's a, how about the fourth red flag that you normally see? Yeah. Boy, fourth red flag starting to get into things that are just deal risks. And so, for example, non-transferable contracts um, or marketing practices that are substandard um, are, are things that I see very often that I advise my clients on fixing. They're not going to kill the deal. They just need to be things that we need to address. 